Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be looking at some Python tricks that will help you get started and work on the Creative AI project. I know this will be of one of the first times you'll be seeing Python. You'll start seeing it in class on lecture on Monday. Today we'll just show some of the beginning techniques that can help you get started even when you've just seen Python very recently. Okay, first to start, what I have here on the screen is I have a file and a terminal window. Now, to run Python, there's many different ways to do this. You will be introduced to some of them in lecture, including IDEs like PyCharm, which is similar to Xcode or Visual, which you have used for C++. What I am using here, though, is just a simple file in sublime.txt, which is a text editor. And to the left, I have my terminal. On Windows, an equivalent thing would be git bash. Here is where I can write commands to run my files. So, in Terminal, the way you can do this is you can see what directory you are by typing pwd. This stands for Present Working Directory. And this kind of says where in my file system I am. Right now, you can see I'm in my desktop. I can then list the files that I have on my desktop. It looks like I have a couple of screenshots, this PowerPoint, and a pytutorial.py. That file is the file I have open over here. To run a Python file, you type Python and then the name of the file. So this would be Python tutorial.py. And right now, there's nothing in this file. So when I run it, nothing's going to happen. That's to be expected. OK, now let's go over to this file. To start with, I'm going to write a very simple hello world program. In Python, to do output, it's pretty simple. You type the word print. So if I wanted to print hello world, I would type like this. Then I can save that file. And when I run it over here in terminal, it prints hello world. OK, so now that we've got basic input or basic output. Let's now figure out how we could use some variables. So in Python, variables do not have a specific type. The type changes upon assignment. So for example, let's say I type the word, let's say I want to save into the variable x the number 5. So here I have put the number 5 into x. And if I print the type of x, it will show me that this is some sort of integer. Let's try running it to see. Yep, it's an integer. Great. Now, let's say I want to make x equal to hello. This is now a string. In C++, I couldn't do this because x is the same variable. But now if I print type of x, it should tell me that it is a string. Let's see. Yep. So we have a type int and a type string. So it's very good to know that in Python, your variables are not strongly typed. They are typed upon assignment. OK. So a lot of the basic if, else, for, that sort of thing are very similar in Python to C++. For addition and subtraction, it's basically identical. I mean, if I wanted to do something like x equals 3, y equals 2, z equals x plus y. Wow, I put 4 into y, sorry. z equals x plus y, you're going to get z equals to 7. So if I print z, I should have a 7. Yep. Other assignments that you can use in Python include the compound operators like z equals plus equals y. Let's actually make this x plus equals y. So this here is going to be x plus equals the value in y. So x is now going to be 7. So if I print x, it should be 7. Yay, we're good. Other things that you can do include the multiplication and division operators and the mod operators. 
the things that are slightly different in Python than C++. First of all, you can't do x++. So if I wanted to increment x by 1, I can't do x++. If I try and do this, I get what's called an interpreter error. And it says this syntax is wrong. So instead, if I go x plus equals 1, I should be fine. Yep, there we go. x is 4. OK. Another thing that you should know about Python is Python floors, instead of when you cast a negative number to an integer, a negative decimal to an integer in C++, it always rounds down. So like negative 2.5 would round to a 2. In Python, a negative 2.5 would actually go down to a 3. It's weird. I know. Python's one of the only things to do it, but it's a good thing to know. Other than that, most of the addition and subtraction that you do in Python is identical to the Python, identical to the code that you would do it with in C++. Thank you.